My last video was old, bad, and slow, so here's a concise and complete no joking guide to playing melee on a keyboard the right way in 2023. Go to the link in the description, scroll down to the requirements, all you really need is Windows and a gaming keyboard, the rest you'll download or you already have. So let's scroll to the top and download the auto hotkey script, scroll back down to setup and download the VJoy device driver. Install VJoy, then use the start menu to find configure VJoy and set the number of buttons to 12. Next we're going to move a file to the slippy folders and to make sure we have the right directory we're going to go through dolphin config and into the memory card settings. Temporarily change the memory card slot to memory card and hit the three dots to get into your directory. We want to back out and navigate to user config profiles GC pad and copy the path at the top. After you close that window, set the memory card back to nothing, open a new file explorer tab or window, and paste the path in the path section. Now paste the box keyboard any from the box auto hotkey script files into your slippy files we just found, and we're almost there. Now into Dolphin, let's set up our controller config with player one as a standard controller, click configure, and load the box keyboard profile from the drop down menu. I like to make a shortcut for the script on my desktop so I can get my dopamine fix a little faster, otherwise you can just open the AHK file from this folder when you want to use it. Now to actually create your layout, double click the AHK script to run it, right click the green H in the system tray and click edit controls. Whenever you're not using the script or editing controls, you'll want to exit out of it or it can spaz at you for some reason. And if you want to use special keys like Alt or Shift, you'll want to open the hotkeys any file and add the keys for your controls manually like I did. Now it should just work, so meat and potatoes time, let's pick a layout. I made mine pretending I was playing on a controller like this, but I have no evidence it's actually good for your hands. Use Haxis layout if you have hand pain as that was made for that purpose. No one cares and it's also probably bad for your hands, but I think WASD and having the Y button over the B button nerfs your keyboard back down to GameCube controller levels. Going from B up to Y and going from down to up is inconsistent and sometimes I push my keyboard up. The script doesn't have SDI nerfs or pivot tilt nerfs though, so. For me it used to not let me mash too quickly or the whole thing bugged out and you have to restart it and check controller config and everything, but on Windows 11 it works. You can control alt s to pause the script if you're doing something else like making a video. Maybe it's just a Windows 10 thing, but I had some buggy nonsense happen if I didn't toggle on prevent default behavior on all my keys. Someone asked about wave dashing on the keyboard, and it's pretty hard to get used to, but I got it down. One way is like a piano motion, and the other way sucks, but it'll come in a few days practice. I don't like the way boxes and frame 1s handle simultaneous opposite cardinal directions, or SOCD, so I edited my script to another legal method. Most people don't have a problem with it, I guess, but I'll link my edit in the description if you know what I mean. Yes, I play on keyboard on console with an adapter. It works just fine. Go over to the Hayloft Discord, which I have in the description, where you can find the schematics to 3D print them yourself. Let me see a keyboard. Let me see an actual keyboard. With some RGB? It's showing, being shown on the stream? Yeah, hey, let's see. What the heck? That, was that is tight. the most RGB I've ever seen. I've, uh, I'm going to be honest. I've never seen an actual keyboard plugged into a Wii before.